Yeah. Please. Oh, fuck. Stock sound effects. Stock broken glass sound effects. Okay, B. Alright. There's explosives in this M&M's factory. Whoever designed this factory is an asshole. I fail to see the functionality of any of these things in making M&M's into M&M's. Like, why, why is there a gramophone encased in a glass half sphere? Not a dome, a half sphere. No, Willy Wanka did design this factory, not Willy Wonka. Come fly with me. The sad thing is, according to uh, Laszlo, you have to do all of these levels with multiple characters. So imagine going through this bland, vapid bullshit three separate times. Somehow my wings have jet engines. This is the only part of the factory that so far looks like a factory. Designed to not hinder the production of M&Ms, but help it. Blame the controls for that. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. Another loading screen? What is the game loading? Seriously, what is it loading? <sighs> Approaching sound barrier! This might be the last level. This might be the last one I can stomach. Somehow, <laughs> somehow this game has a virus embedded within its code. Somehow. And it, it gives my computer a virus, despite the fact that I'm streaming it through a capture card. This is the power of M&M's, my friends. And you know the thing is too, like M&M's, their store in, in Times Square is actually kind of cool. Like they have a pretty cool store. And it makes you wonder, like all the money they're making from M&M's, they couldn't spend a little bit more money on this game? Or any of their games? Well, why are we like delving into games anyway as M&M's? M&M's did not need to do this. 
they they really do not have the same appeal as, as say Lego, for example. It's just a round twat jumping around. One who's a lazy sadomasochist, and the other one is is just another a, a red twat, and that's it. That's the M&M experience. This does not need to be video games. Cool spot. Yeah, but Cool Spot was at least. Actually, I can't defend Cool Spot. He, he was also pretty, pretty horrible. He had sunglasses though. Cool Spot at least had that. What have Eminem's got? Floating eyebrows and a smug twat-like grin. This game inspires me to use the word twat more. I, you know, I, it is a great word. I just don't use it enough. I don't use it nearly enough. My everyday vernacular is not nearly as twatty as it should be, but Eminem's adventure is fixing all that. I wonder how many developers survived this ordeal. Like the ordeal of making this game putting their name on it. I'm sure there is at least a few developers that were ashamed to be a part of this project. What is this? Bubble donut? This level design. This level design is so bad. I used to draw better levels in my notebook when I was in fifth grade. I used to draw le uh, Mega Man levels, and they were indeed better than this. <sighs> so you hired me to compose the Mega uh, the M and M game. What is you looking for? Well, we're looking for the most bland, unappealing, repetitive riff you could possibly come up with musically. You know, something that no one could really like. Something that defies genres. Uh, you know, I could do that. Uh, I'll put a little bit of samba, some bossa nova. I could uh, repeat the same musical note seven or eight times in a row before it change and then make it almost the exact same thing. Yeah, I can do that, yeah. Just make it as, as unmemorable as possible. Can you do that? Sure, I can do that, yes. Is uh, this a high-paying gig? You'll, you'll make as much money as you can eat M&Ms. For every M&M you can eat, you will get one dollar. Okay. I, I'm diabetic, though. I don't really eat M&Ms. Oh, well, you know, I, I guess you don't get paid. Going backwards? How am I supposed to know? Laszlo, how am I supposed to know? You have to tell me how I'm supposed to know. in this game. Please, battery, run out. I implore you, battery, please. Ah, 
Here's the, uh... Oh, please! It sound as much like elevator music as you possibly can. Yeah, you know, I could do that. That's very easy. <laughs> you know, back back when I was uh, running, you know, marathons, yeah, I could totally make the music like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. See, this is a fun, fun thing to do. I mean, you want the gamer to be bored, and you want them to suffer. And so therefore, what you do is, you throw them on a backwards treadmill, and you have them go as slow as they can, because gamers like going slow. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Maybe just just chocolate box. We'll just we'll just see what chocolate box is. Let's see if it's any different from the previous levels. What is it? Any, by the way, guys, you do realize this is a Cupid themed level. You are aware of this, right? Like Valentine's love, Cupid, you know, vacuums, helicopter dicks. Conveyor belts. That, that just says love to me. Oh wait, no. We have, we officially have something that could be misconstrued as love. Love carpet. Heart carpet. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I, I really, I'm, I'm at my wit's end here. <laughs> Loud explosions. How is it that Mario 64, a game that came out in 96, could feel so alive with its limited technology? And very blocky, you know, graphics, textures were really, really questionably like, bad. I mean, not, not bad, but you know what I mean, limited, limited, very limited. Then you have this, a game that came out 10 to 12 years later. It's just, it, it's mind-blowing. How you could have a game that feels so dead inside, so empty. Please. But, but no. I'm going to stop this, don't worry, I'm going to put an end to this madness. I have a feeling the battery's gonna run out in in a, in a in a minute. I don't know why I have this feeling, but it just feels like it could happen. Isn't that weird? Oh, look, the battery ran out. Whoops. Well, I guess that's the end of that. I hope you enjoyed Eminem's. <sighs> I hope you Huh? Oh. Okay. Well.
that was um, <clears throat> that was Eminem's adventure. One of the blandest games, not even funny. It really wasn't even funny, and that was to me one of its biggest crimes. It wasn't even funny bad. It was just bad bad. All right, why don't we do something else? Rodina, if you guys haven't seen this, I think you'll like it. I did this the other day, and it turned out to be a lot more interesting and fun than I thought it would be. If you don't know what it is, let's just say this. I have a toilet ship. Think about what that means for a second. Space toilets. Okay, I will show you. Okay, so this is the bridge of the ship. As you can see, there's a lot of toilets in here. And you know, I've decided that we just don't plain have enough toilets. We got a shower here in the bridge. We just gotta rotate it and make it better. Why is this thing rotating and not the shower? There we go. We have to move it. The, sh the shower is proving to be kind of difficult. We gotta do that, All right? Let's see, there we go. Now you have space toilet. Space shower, rather. Okay, I've got a ton of fire extinguishers here. We need to remove some of these. There's just too many. Let's limit it just a little bit down to there. Okay, good, good, good. All right, next, more toilets. This is the bridge of the ship. I control the bridge in bed, just, just so you guys know. So let's go ahead and make these consoles into toilets. Good, good, good. We need to... We need to just fix this a bit. See, because this is just too much. Well, there's space. No, we don't want space. Okay. This whole area should be a bathroom, I've determined. You see? This should be more bathroom than anything. Okay, um... Just in case visitors show up, I think it would be nice to have a, a lovely little bathroom somewhere around here. Just for, um... For guests. So let's do that. Let's put a door. Oh, I see how this works. Okay, you can't... Oh, Jesus Christ. This editor is good, but it's confusing. It's very confusing. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do... Um, uh, you wait, if you haven't seen the actual game yet, I think you'll enjoy it. fuck am I even doing anymore? I don't even know what I'm doing, but there's just doors. 
Clear door. Okay, clear door. All right. So now we're going to do bathroom t tile set. So as soon as you enter the ship, you're then presented with a bathroom. Okay. So let's let's get rid of this. God damn it. All right. I don't know what this function is. I don't know what what this thing is. So we'll just move that. We don't need to wash our hands in this bathroom. There's no need. We'll go like that. Yeah, so there you go. Now you have a nice... Uh, let's move this again. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. Put the sink there. Okay, so you walk in. You got a bathroom. We need... Um, let's, let's do a light decoration. Light one. There you go. Entities... Toilet. You don't know who's going to be on board. And that's the thing. Like, when you have aliens aboard your ship, the best thing to do is to have them use the bathroom first so they don't spread any germs. I, I think. Let's rotate. Okay. There you go. Move that over there. Let's get one, two, three. Three toilets. Three toilets. Three toilets. Move. Wouldn't it be great if you could just poop next to other people? Right? And then you could just, like, sit across from them. And this is the way bathrooms should be. And they would be in my world. Where you could just, like, have your friends poop next to you and all open. You don't need to worry too much about you know, privacy. Because look at this. You just, you got all the privacy you need. You're in, you're in the bathroom together. Friends watch friends poop. Okay. Alright, so there you go. Now you have a beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Uh, there you go. See, the bridge is toilets, the intro to the ship is toilets, and everything is good. Let us go back and actually play the game now. Wrong airlock. Definitely wrong airlock. It's beautiful. You can do anything. You can poop anywhere. So you want to see what the actual game is like? It's like this. Alright, so you get to the bridge, and you can see all the lovely toilets and sinks. Even a shower if you need to use it. I'm not reading that stuff because that takes too long. So this is how you play the game. See that question mark? That's a planet. I don't know what planet that is. Let's go. early access. This is an early, early alpha. So you're seeing a preview of what this game could become. Well, that's a far away planet. It's like a Neptune-like planet. Whoa! Whoa. Marina.
Oh shit. Uh oh. Re entry too steep. I want to get to the side of the planet that's lit. There we go. Okay, so red dots are enemies. And... Um, pluses are transmissions and equipment and stuff. So in order to enter the atmosphere, you gotta be real... You gotta be real good. You can't go too steep. It's like I'm going way too steep. My ship is burning up a bit. Frigid wind. Oh. Oh, I can't enter this planet. This planet is is too cold. We we can't go here yet. Alright, screw it. We'll go to that other one. If it's too cold, you burst into flames. Remember this. This game is called Rodina, R-O-D-I-N-A. 